Hey, happy solar eclipse, new moon day. <laughs> it's Meredith. I'm here with our message for the 10th of June, 2021. And I've been looking at some astrological influences that we are experiencing alongside the eclipse energy. So we have Saturn, Pluto, and Mercury all in retrograde right now. And Saturn in retrograde gives us an opportunity to have some karmic balancing, rebalancing perhaps. I feel that intuitively as the message we've received repeatedly about uh, our energetic investment and how we speak over our own lives. You know, if we are remaining positive even in the face of deep challenge, uh, that's an investment. That's an energetic investment that will pay reward. Maybe, maybe not in that now moment, though it comes in an oncoming moment, hmm, right? Now, Pluto in retrograde will give us a great vision for any of our destructive behaviors, whatever they may be. It could be negative self-talk could be poor self-image. Whatever it is, it's unique to each and every one of us, but it's going to be shown to us. Now, those two planets are in retrograde till mid-October. Mercury finishes up on the 22nd of June. So uh, it's an interesting period of time. And then we have the influence of the most recent eclipse on the 26th of May, lunar eclipse. Now we're having a solar eclipse. So the cards we turn over today could be bringing a message that sticks with us for a good number of months. So let's see what we've got going on. Let's take a look at our spirit animal. We have butterfly spirit. Transformation is beautiful. Yeah, it sure is. And that's what these energies are all about. And that's no surprise to us because how often have we seen the death card, right? The death card's been all over the reading for weeks. The emperor's been right there. Um, you know, we're really leveraging our wisdom and our experience for our for our own metamorphosis transformation. Beautiful stuff. Uh, we also are having a celestial rune. I haven't brought these cards out in a long time. This was suggested not too long ago. Uh, but my dear friend Janet created these cards. Yeah, they're beautiful. And we have grounded integration. Ooh, grounded integration of our transformation. <laughs> so we're integrating energies. We're going to be integrating energies in a grounded way for a good number of months based on these eclipses and, you know, these retrograde planets. So check your charts. That's the reason I'm saying all of this to you. I could have led with that, but do check your own astrological charts. Uh, plug it into any astrology calculator. You need your date, time, place of birth. Uh, to get an accurate chart, but find out where Saturn is, find out where Pluto is, how does Mercury affect you, where does it affect you, read up on it and get to know yourself even better, it may bring some greater clarity to some of the life experiences and resulting life lessons. Mm. We also have Sawyer's Lenormand and we've got Clover. <laughs> Very simple straightforward message there, it's a card of good fortune. And that makes me think of Jupiter because Jupiter is considered the good fortune planet and that one goes retrograde, I think on the 20th of June. So read all about it in your astrological charts and uh, you know, see what's unfolding for you between now and October at the very least. All right, let's get into our tarot cards. I, I wanted to get all fancy and I got out the cosmic tarot here it is. I shuffled and shuffled for this deck and it just was flat. I wanted cosmic tarot because it's such a cosmic day, right? And then I moved on to another one. <laughs> Same thing. So here we are back at Bonefire because this one delivers every time. So what have we got going on in the energy atmosphere that could be with us for a period of life experience. We're starting out strong with the strength card. Number, what number is the strength card? Eight. <laughs> Don't you just love eights? Because they are all about momentum and movement and having the strength to do it, to move, to be in the flow. And this is a card about our courageous heart untamed. 
Love that. The message at the core of the strength card is whatever inspires you, whether it's something you're creating as in a project, uh, your art, whatever it is, the wild free spirit of the inspiration must remain intact. So it takes great courage to stay in the heart space and maintain that through the period of development that takes place with our inspirations. The strength card is also about sort of letting go of control. You know, she's not trying to tame the lion and the lion's not trying to overcome her in any way. They've reached a harmony between them. And this is something else that takes place in our own heart space. This is our transformation, our grounded information. And we have the good fortune to be able to bring this kind of energy into our own self relationship. Coming with strength is, well, beauty of beauties, the high, the high priestess, the inner oracle. You know, my guides have been talking to me for quite a while about um, our intuitive gifts expanding, really having their words, a quantum leap in our intuitive abilities. And so to have the high priestess sitting right next to the strength card, I feel like that is the cosmic magnifying glass of the eclipse shining through these cards. Now, yesterday we had the moon in Bonefire Tarot and it was something of the unknown becomes known. I feel it's known because the High Priestess is here. Also, a message about the High Priestess is that she has a measure of discretion and we may be called to have a measure of discretion for our inspirations here off the strength card. It may not be exactly the season or the atmosphere to share some of our inspirations broadly or widely we would want to if we're sharing at all share with those we know love and trust the most the people that are um you know within our soul tribe <laughs> and even then if there are things that must be nurtured within the heart uh, before they can be shared so i feel that message is relevant here yeah look at this the devil now just moments ago, we're talking about uh, Pluto being retrograde and identifying some of our destructive behaviors. And the Devil card is a master at pointing that out for us. And the invitation here is to recognize whatever behavior we've got that doesn't feel to us like it creates the highest and greatest outcome. It's not necessarily meant to be judged harsh, harshly. It's more meant to be recognized, validated, and loved with kindness and compassion because if we are harsh on ourselves the ego story rises up and then we don't necessarily move through the behavior or even upgrade the frequency of it we tend to repeat it and repeat it well until we get it of course so this is a season for exactly that to happen and sitting next to the high priestess that's us being unable to avoid seeing it <laughs> And once you see it, you can't look away from it. You cannot pretend that you didn't, you know. So allow the high priestess to, to, to bless you with that kind of vision so you can see it and do something about it that creates transformation and even better fortune for yourself. Let's clarify these cards. So clarifying the strength card we've got, look at that. Oh, I love this. I love the Ace of Cups showing up. And we certainly do see a lot of it. It is a divine and cosmic gift of love in abundance, bliss, joy, happiness on overflow in our world. And isn't that something that gives us great spiritual strength, right? Oh, nice. So again, keep in mind that this is all happening on an eclipse, in the eclipse energy. So this is going to be with us for a while. And isn't it beautiful to have the Ace of Cups because aces in tarot neutralize challenging cards. So it's the perfect lens with which to view, High Priestess, anything that requires upgrade for us, devil. 
allows us to see what could be holding us back or preventing us from feeling freedom and liberation. And it's not meant to be judged harshly, harshly, as I said moments ago. This ace has the ability to help us neutralize that energy because the love bliss on overflow here will easily overcome anything off the devil card. Gorgeous. Uh, clarifying our high priestess, we have, look at this, the, the eight of cups, the eclipse card. There it is, right there on the card. <laughs> now, Add the eight to the ace, you get the nine of cups again, which you know, if you've been watching the videos, that card just doesn't leave our side lately. And that's another beautiful grace in our world at this time. And the eight of cups is a message of deliberate change. You know, it's, it's moving from really good circumstances to even better circumstances. And we're moving in the kind of momentum that the Ace of Cups creates. We're in the overflow of the blessing of this card. So we have an eight here in strength. We have an eight here in the cups. And then we have the Nine of Cups adding the Ace to the eight. So we see, we have the vision, High Priestess, for everything we've been holding in, in heart space. And we are in a season of good fortune and transformation that allows us to integrate all this goodness into our foundation. Yes. And the stuff that has to go away is in the devil card. And we can do that with appreciation. We can let go of what we are complete with. All right, clarifying the devil we have. <laughs> How many times did I say, don't judge the devil card too harshly. And then we turn over <laughs> judgment. <sighs> this is awesome. <laughs> Okay, so judgment in tarot is really about uh, having another opportunity. It's considered a resurrection card, and sometimes it can be a challenge to resurrect the feelings, nobody wants to exactly, of what's on the devil card. Though bringing anything that's holding us back out into the light of the day or into the light of an eclipse gives us the gift of change. How beautiful is that? We can change this and we are changing this. Whatever this is for you. You know what your habits are. You know what destructive things you say to yourself. Uh, we all have our own vulture thoughts and that's all we're doing is recognizing them and having another opportunity, having another opportunity to bring them into the light of an eclipse and make real and lasting change for ourselves. So what do we have in the unseen? What does all this lead to? What is the greatest blessing that comes of this kind of energy atmosphere? And what is the eclipse really delivering us? We're going to do just one off the bottom. And we have, <laughs> well, beauty. There it is, Ten of Cups. And we have the, we have the Eight of Cups we have the eight combined with the ace, which makes the nine of cups. And now we have the 10 of cups, beautiful progression, but also we're running the suit of cups here because once you reach 10, the suit resets back to ace. So there's an ending and a beginning. See the presence of the death card is here, even though we haven't turned the card over. Transformation, that's the butterfly spirit coming into the reading and this is all really good fortune for us. You know that the Ten of Cups is is one of those, uh, one of the happiest cards in tarot. For me, it, it has the same rank as the Sun and the Four of Wands and a few others as well. And, you know, we're looking at it. We're staring at it right here in the reading. This is all of our good fortune overflowing out of the Ace of Cups and blessing us in so many ways we can't even count them <laughs> all right let's do angel answers this is your opportunity to ask a question get confirmation hear a fresh message here <laughs> there's one we don't see often no just no <laughs> well if you asked a yes no Perhaps that's your answer. I feel it relates very much 
um, to the to the devil card. And the question here that judgment may be putting forth is, are you willing to carry on Eight of Cups with whatever the destructive attitude or behavior is? And the answer there could easily be no. But you take that where it's relevant to you. Peaceful resolution, yeah. <laughs> and sometimes no is yes. Sometimes saying no to something that is offered in the moment ends up being a yes to your self-care. You know, sometimes we have to decline the invitation here or there, but uh, it ends up paying a reward for it forward for us. <laughs> Just to make it a little more confusing. Emphatically, yes. <laughs> so if you asked a new question beyond your no, there's an emphatic yes. And then we have remain positive. Mm -hmm. That's simple and straightforward. No explanation required. And our affirmation for the day from the Super Attractor deck is, I trust that my powerful intentions combine excuse me, combined with my faith are enough to allow my vision to become a reality. There's the high priestess. Hold to your vision. Mm -hmm. Hold to your vision. That's what creates the Ten of Cups. That's what gifts and blesses us with the Ace of Cups. Have a beautiful eclipse, everybody. Peace, love, joy, happiness to each and every one of you. Namaste. Ciao for now.